Hi there, this is Stephanie Hahn and this is my post for Realtor Magazine Online. I want to talk to you today about Gmail and specifically a few things that you can do to make slogging through your inbox a little easier and a little faster. Because right now, email kind of stinks. We get stuck in inbox hell. It's a demon dimension that sucks us in and tries to keep us there, just pouring through endless requests and truly wasting more of our day than actually seems possible. It's time to scooby up and take back our inboxes. Here are 10 tweaks for your Gmail that I hope will allow you to flex your muscles and finally reclaim your inbox. Whenever possible, I've included links to the tools that I mention right within the article. The Send from Gmail Chrome extension is definitely a personal favorite and one that makes most agents sigh with delight. You know when you're online and you're looking for an email address, maybe for a listing agent, and all you can find is a link to click here to email? So you click the link and ugh, Outlook opens. Nobody wants to go there, right? So you quickly hit cancel three times to try and make it go away. When you enable this extension, it's called the Send from Gmail extension, the next time you click on an email icon like that on the web, this extension is going to open a lovely little Gmail Compose box for you. Problem solved. Inserting images and the Cloudy Chrome extension. I want to tackle inserting images first because it's so easy. I hear this a lot. I want my listing flyer to open up inside of the email, not just sitting there as an attachment. All you have to do is save your flyer as an image and you can insert the image directly into your Gmail now right inside of your Compose box. There's no extra add-ons or handiwork required for this. All you need to do is inside of your Compose box is click on that little camera at the bottom and you can insert one or several photos, probably not more than four depending on the size. The Cloudy extension, which is a little extra Chrome extension, also allows you to attach images and files from all of your cloud storage services, your social networks, Evernote, your own device, of course, but all at the same time. Install the Cloudy Chrome extension, and when you click on the little cloud in your next email, it's right in the Compose box, a new world of possibilities, or at least attachments, opens up. Smart Labels and the Gmail Inbox tabs. It's time. Give yourself over to the Google. Just make sure that you're showing a few key labels, all mail and spam specifically, so you can quickly check that your mail is routing correctly. The Smart Labels will filter out promotional and newsletter type emails into the Promotions and Updates tabs. All of your social notification emails will be filed under, you guessed it, the Social tab. Any emails that are deemed important or addressed solely to you will show up in primary. To use the smart labels, go to the labs tab in your Gmail settings and click enable. To actually mess around with the tabs, the social promotions, updates, all of those, you want to go into your settings under the inbox tab. Canned responses, a Google lab add-on. Ever feel like you answer the same question over and over again? Canned responses allow you to answer an email once and then use that response whenever the question comes up again. You can still edit your reply or personalize the email as necessary, so don't worry about that part. Find the Canned Responses lab in your Gmail settings and click Enable. In a new Compose box, type in your canned response and then there's a little drop down at the lower right corner of your Compose box. Click on that and then you want to click on Canned Responses and Save New. It's going to ask you to title it, so you put your title in, and then you're done. Undo Send is a Google Lab add-on. For those times when you just need to get it back, enable the Undo Send Lab under the Labs tab in your Gmail settings, and then, and this is really important, you want to go to the General tab in your Gmail settings and set the time that you have to take the message back. Now, when you send an email, you'll see the undo send countdown at the top of your screen. But be quick, the longest you can set the undo for is 30 seconds. Reportive. Reportive is Gmail only, but it's a little extension that you can use that basically shows you all about the person that you received an email from. You can get the skinny on their work, 
where they are in your network, how you're connected, who you have in common, and there's even a little connect button so you can connect with them in one click. All sorts of great info just to the right of your email. So you're reading their email, blah, 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 and you look over and poof, it's all there. Find big mail for Gmail and Google Apps. Reclaim inbox space quickly and, more importantly, effectively with Find Big Mail. This tool works through your inbox and shows you your largest messages. So, so useful when you're trying to get more space. Just go to their website. It's www.findbigmail.com. Enter your Gmail or your Google Apps address and they go to work. They send you an email with the results and more importantly with links so you can easily find and delete or export those big messages out that you just don't need in your inbox anymore. And this is a sample of what they send to you. This was my little report. So little stat there showing me my three biggest messages and then my top 20 are listed just underneath of this and then additionally they're going to give me some labels right in my Gmail so I can go back and access this stuff if I'm not ready to do it all at once to you know delete all of these at once. MX Hero for Gmail Outlook and others is my new favorite email add-on. Get total tracking, self-destruct, private delivery, send later, and reply timeouts all with one little tool. The tracking information is going to give you when they opened and read your email, if they clicked on any links, if they downloaded the attachment, all of that. You can also write and schedule emails to send later with the send later feature. You can get notified when your email goes unanswered. You determine the time frame on that. And possibly the coolest one is you can make your emails self-destruct. When you select to self-destruct an email, the message will auto-destroy five minutes after the first read. So you'll get a read receipt that the person has opened your email so you would know that they at least received it, but then it's going to self-destruct. Yes, this is as awesome as it sounds. Five ways to trick out an email with one handy little tool. You can turn these on or off for each email and use all five or just one at a time. My final tool is Ystamp. Ystamp works with Gmail, with Yahoo, Outlook, AOL, and it's a real easy way to just fancy up your email signature. You can add a company logo or your own photo, social icons, connect buttons for LinkedIn, like buttons for your Facebook business page, and, well, just about anything else. Of course, you can put all of the regular signature staples into your Ystamp signature too, but add some fun layouts, social promo, and just tons of other neat options to really spice up your signature. With this, you can get up to two signatures for free. If you want more than two, you're going to have to pay. Okay, if you made it to the end, thanks for hanging in there. That was super long. Lots and lots of info on those tweaks. Thanks so much for watching. I do, of course, appreciate your time. I'd love to hear what I missed, what you're using in your Gmail or other email programs. Uh, just let us know in the comments. Thanks a lot, guys.